This video is to introduce how to solve the equation e to the power of e to the power of z equals 1. So first, when we see this question, we know we need to separate this into two equations. The first one is we can assume u equals e to the power of z. So correspondingly, the second equation is e to the power of u equals 1. So since we have the parameter 1, we know we are going to start from the equation number 2, e to the power of u equals 1. And in our previous video, we already introduced how to solve the equation e to the power of z equals minus 2. And this is very similar to that one. You can refer to that video for more information. So here we have e to the power of u equals 1, and we already know those exponential equations. So here we know we're going to use the first one, e to the power of i times 0 equals 1. So in this case, we know u should be 0 plus 2k pi times i, because there is a period which is 2k pi. And we just can write this equation into 2k pi times i. So correspondingly, we also know the equation number 1, it becomes e to the power of z equals u equals 2k pi times i. We write this equation, we know z equals x plus i y, so now we have e to the power of x plus i y equals 2k pi times i. And when we see i, we know we can use the exponential form to represent. And in this case, we're going to use this one. i equals e to the power of i times half pi. And considering the period of 2k pi, we can rewrite this equation into e to the power of x times e to the power of i y equals 2k pi times e to the power of i times half pi plus 2k sub 1 times pi. And in this equation, k and k sub 1, they are integers. So for the real part, we know e to the power of x equals 2k pi. So x equals ln 2k pi. And for the imaginary part, we have e to the power of i y, which is e to the power of i times half pi plus 2k sub 1 times pi. So of course, y equals half pi plus 2 times k sub 1 times pi. So now we have x, we have y, we can just substitute. So we have z equals x plus i y equals, just substitute, ln 2k pi plus i times half pi plus 2 times k sub 1 times pi. And k and k1, they are integers.